meters for the indices. So I think at 59,100 odd for Sensex, we are still possibly another uh, you know, 300 to 400 points away from hitting that first zone of oversold indicators. Uh, so possibly we could probably be into a, a further leg of correction uh, over the next one to two days. And once we hit that oversold nature of indicators, that's the best time to try and go a bit more contra. So I think uh, one has to wait and watch for the next couple of days. 58,700 approximately on uh, Sensex could be a zone where one could look to initiate fresh longs or more of contra longs uh, on a pure trading basis. All right. Uh, it is time now to start the query segment. and. Uh Sharmila as well as Kunal, uh, this uh, is your uh, get set go moment. Uh, everybody who's tuning in for the first time, this is your uh, pointers. Uh, you've got to send us a message on any one of our social media platforms or on the WhatsApp number that's flashing on your screen. Tell us the name that uh, you're going by or tell us the stocks that you want to know about uh, and we'll take it up. The first question is something that I've uh, saved from Friday. Uday Prabhu is writing in from Bengaluru asking about IEX. He's got 1,005 shares at an average price of 220. He's losing ground and he's been holding for quite a while. Sharmila, the question is, should he continue to hold? Should he continue to have the faith? Uh, so uh, recently, as of last week, in fact, uh, there was a piece of bad news for uh, IEX where there was a cap put on uh, a high price mark, the high price market segment, as it's called. And uh, I think there were 13 states or something which were put in this uh, uh, in this sort of ban or cap uh, because they had outstanding dues to Gencos. And out of these six or seven are uh, big states which uh, are quite active on the IEX. So this has obviously been a near-term negative uh, for IEX. Of course, I think they've said that it's been rolled back for six states, etc. Uh, so you know, I think that's the problem. Uh, you know, when you are uh, investing in a stock like this, overall for the longer term. Uh, this is honestly a stock that I like and I really believe in the long term story uh, because of the kind of uh, uh, the products that uh, they are uh, introducing and uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm inclined to think that the demand for uh, this, uh, their products and this kind of an exchange will go up over a period of time. Uh, but uh, for the near term, it seems to have hit some sort of uh, bad weather. So if he is willing to be a long investor, I would recommend that he stay invested. Right. Uh, let me take this next query that I've got from uh, got, got from Dheeraj Kunal, and he's wondering that whether is it the right time to enter a uh, DMART, though he feels that the price is uh, pretty high for this particular counter. Well, uh, it's a good. I would not say a time to uh, enter the stock, but it's a good stock to uh, enter from a more longer term basis. I think DMART is going through a process of turnaround. What started off from the month of mid May. Uh, 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 second half of May and start of the month of June was the stock bottoming out, uh, forming a double bottom at the 3,400 dollar mark for itself and then managing to rally above the 4,000, 4,200 levels as well where the stock is currently trading. So it's done reasonably well over the last two months and I would probably be of the belief that it should continue to do pretty well if you have a positional time frame. So use this correction to your advantage for stocks which have given confirmation of a trend reversal. And I think, you know, a 5% lower from current levels could be a good starting point for you if your time horizon is positional. Okay, we've got a question uh, coming from Sudha. And uh, I believe a few other people are also asking about footwear companies. But uh, she's asking about campus or metro or any other. I would think Bata can uh, throw its hat in the ring here. But uh, Sharmila, this one's for you. Which one would you prefer for the long term? Uh, so I think uh, Bata goes without saying, uh, so I'm not really discussing that. But uh, between the two, I think I prefer uh, uh, Campus Active. I, it's a sort of a new listing. Uh, and overall, I think uh, the pandemic has shown that, uh, you know, we've seen this sort of gradual shift uh, towards uh, athleisure, etc. And uh, this sort of fits that niche nicely. So I would say Campus Active. I had a similar question. Uh... Uh, Sharmila on campus active where she wanted to know if she can buy 200 shares for the short term. Makes sense, right then? About short term, that you can check with Kunal, but uh, for the longer term, yes. Kunal, short term, um, do you have a view on this one? Recently listed counter. So, not sure on uh, you know, campus, but I think out of the other names, uh, Metro Brands is something which I look, which I uh, believe is looking very attractive. It's more of a stable chart has done pretty well for itself even campus uh, in footwear has done reasonably well but then because of the restriction in terms of charts even the 200 dma is not yet formed for the stock so difficult to uh, comment on this on from a more short to medium to play okay um, 
BSC, uh, the question is, why is it uh, losing ground today? We've got a question coming in from Suraj. Uh, Kunal, just part of the overall consolidation, down about 3% discounted today. Yeah, I think part of overall, overall market structure. You also have to look at it this way that, uh, you know, in this last two months of market rally, BSC has not been one of the first stocks to give you a major rally on the upside. For, in fact, I think if I'm not wrong, there was just one or two days uh, where the stock had closed above its 200-day moving average but it could not sustain that and you saw the stock falling back sharply. So that itself tells you the inherent weakness in, into the stock price. And that's what I think uh, you know, I've been uh, advising uh, you know, over the last few weeks as well, that it's much better to try and, try and buy a stock when it confirms a breakout on the upside and sustains those breakout levels rather than you anticipating that the markets or, or that stock would probably get into a breakout zone sooner than later. So. I would probably expect BAC to continue to trade into this, uh, you know, uh, trading range on the downside, more sluggish, possibly for the next, uh, you know, couple of months as well. Okay, this next query is from Nino uh, Sharmila. It's for you. He's asking if is it, uh, if it is prudent to invest in tin plate India, considering the 2,000 crore rupees capex plans and also already improved numbers. We've seen uh, tin plate India also stage a, a massive rally over the last uh, two odd months. Uh, do you think right now it's advisable to invest in this one for the longer term? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, uh, I think uh, apart from uh, uh, the capex, as you were mentioning, I think that even in terms of valuation, uh, the stock looks uh, fairly uh, uh, decent. Uh, even numbers, uh, there def a definite improvement over uh, last year's. Uh, I mean, this, this quarter numbers do uh, show improvement over last year's uh, sort of year-on-year -year performance. Seems better. Uh, valuation seems uh, seem decent. So yes, I think you can uh, stay invested in ten plate. Okay, uh, the question is from Hriday and he's asking about Adani Enterprises which he has shorted one lot off at a level of 2,900. Kunal, what's the strategy here? First of all, I mean, what is the rationale of shorting a stock which has been into a very high degree of momentum? So, not just the fifth gear but I think even the sixth and the seventh gear for the stock price. So, it's very difficult to try and, uh, you know, uh, place a stop loss to such kind of a trade. You are already losing, uh, I think, 200 points, 230 points if I'm not wrong, from your uh, entry price. So I think it's much better that, that you probably have a, uh, you know, a stop loss somewhere in place, maybe a 3,200, which was, I think, the two-day high for Dani Enterprise. That could be a stop loss. And keep that stop loss strict, uh, you know, from current levels. I'm curious, how many, how many gears uh, does this stock have, Kunar? <laughs> Very difficult <laughs> to say that. <laughs> right, this one is from Mayank. And Mayank is already holding 2,000 shares of uh, RPG Life at a price of 600 rupees per share. He wants to know what should he do with this counter. He has a, a view of about two years or so. Uh, what's your take on uh, RPG Life, Sharmila? Do you track this one? Uh, yes, and I think I'm uh, fairly uh, bullish on the stock. Uh, I think with a two-year horizon, uh, he can definitely uh, stay invested. Uh, uh, numbers are looking fairly decent. Uh, yes, I think in terms of valuations, it seems uh, to be a, uh, a little bit a tad expensive, but I think that's also because uh, uh, numbers have been fairly decent. So, yes, I think uh, he can continue to hold the stock. Uh, Sharmila, a relatively recent listed uh, company, Map My India is the name of the counter. 1,488 is a buy price. Sharath from Bengaluru is asking whether to hold average or exit at this point. Uh, actually, I like this stock quite a lot. And I think that uh, among sort of the new age companies, uh, you know, the recent IPOs uh, that we've had, perhaps this would have been, you know, one of the stocks that I would have uh, recommended at uh, that uh, when the IPO came. And I think even if you uh, see the numbers uh, and the, uh, you know, their various verticals and the kind of possibilities, you know, like for instance, uh, Google Street View has now uh, been allowed. So, you know, a lot of things will fall into place and they'll be able to monetize uh, their model in uh, bits and pieces because there are a lot of uh, AI sort of apps uh, which use this uh, geospatial kind of a uh, requirement. Uh, so, you know, I see tremendous possibilities for Map My India, and I think it's it's a very, very uh, decent, uh, decently run company. So, I would recommend, yes, that you can average, and uh, yes, I think definitely hold what you have. Okay, this one has come from Sagar Kunal, and this one is for you. Uh, it's on DV's Laboratories. He's saying he shorted 50 lots in futures at a price of 3,920 levels, as well as in options by selling 3,900 call option and bought put options. Is this a good level to book profits or some more downside is possible or not? Yeah, I think you can continue to hold on to your strategy over here. I think you've shorted, I mean, you've 
used all the uh, you know mediums possible whether it's to go long on put or going short on call as well as on shorting futures so i think you've exhausted all your options in that regards but then i think uh, you know the strategy seems to be working quite well uh, in fact uh, you know dv slab has been an underperformer over the last 3 4 months as well from the pharma pack so we can just expect that this underperformance would continue at best what you can probably try and do is uh, you know keep on trying to book profits on your uh, options positions as and how possible and keep trailing your stop losses in future so that you can protect in case Uh, if the stock gets into any kind of a surprise move on the upside okay um, kunal speaking of another counter that uh, seemingly has multiple gears beyond the regular adani power uh, we've got a question coming in from uh, rashmi and she's asking is it overbought uh, she's bought at levels of 280 and she's asking whether she can book partial profits well there's a technical definition of overbought and there is a definition which is newly found <laughs> into these dani group of stocks so we are just trying to recalculate what is the actual definition of overbought but you know very difficult to categorize that whether these stocks are overbought the rsi for example on dani power i think had hit a level of 80 somewhere when the stock was at 340 and now the stock is at 428 430 uh and the uh, rsi on the daily charts has hit a level of just 85 so it continues to be an overbought territory and it has been into this overbought level over the last 100 rupees as well which is almost 30% to the stock price so i would suggest uh, you know that that you avoid looking at this as an opportunity just because the stocks have run up wait for the prices to confirm not the indicators to confirm let the prices confirm a breakdown that would be a point where you can look to maybe i think trim out your long positions or initiate maybe fresh shots Okay, talking about Adani Power, Kunal. I just let me just add on to that query because Rakesh is saying that he already has 195 shares of Adani Power, uh, purchased at 202 rupees per share. He wants to know for the next three months what should he do? Continue to hold on to it or exit? Well, I think you're lucky enough to hold on to the stock price uh, even from those 200 levels. Uh, again, uh, I think in the last, as I said, in the last I think seven eight days, the speed of rally has intensified for Adani Power. That's probably helping the cause that the stock is breaking past about. all the psychological marks of 350 400 etc you can expect this rally to continue what the best strategy over here is to have a trailing stop loss so in case if the prices don't break below the 3 day low that's the strategy which you can adopt so as another stock keeps on making a 3 day uh, doesn't break below the 3 day low you are uh, inadvertently uh, you know trying to trail the stop losses higher for adani power so you can ride the trend and have a 3 day stop loss as a bet, best strategy available all right Uh, I think a few of our viewers uh, are trying to confuse me with uh, double negatives. Uh, I've been saying you cannot not take my question. Uh, I promise that I will take it after the break. We have to slip into a one uh, right now. Uh, Sharmila as well as Kunal do stay tuned. I mean, stay with us. Viewers do stay tuned. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> ओएलएक्स ऑटो सी देता है आपकी कार का बेस्ट फ्रेंड स्टॉक मार्केट्स इज अ नंबर्स गेम एंड इट समटाइम्स डज कम अक्रॉस एज वन डायमेंशनल बट व्हाट पीपल डोंट सी इज दैट दीस नंबर्स व्हेन स्ट्रंग टुगेदर टेल अ स्टोरी देयर इज नो रियली ब्लैक और व्हाइट इट वेरी मच सीम्स टू बी अ वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस of triumphs and mistakes greed and fear and i bring you that story behind the numbers in action the personal finance show that helps you achieve all your financial dreams this show gets you everything that you need to know about your money how to earn more invest smartly and spend while getting the best bang for your buck from the perfect home to early retirement and everything in between real estate everyone knows is an asset that indians absolutely love maybe even more than gold join us every weekday at 5 pm on the et money show investment made easy only on et now with each passing day this market is becoming better and with each passing day this market is only telling you that if you participated on every decline you've actually made money itc's credo is nation first 
सब साथ पड़े आई वुड लाइक टू लिव दिस फिलोसफी इन वट एवर बिजनेस वी डू we continue to be very well diversified across product lines the general health of the company continues to be very strong we are a publicly listed company we have access to capital we have great brands the global question yeah i can tell you we believe that we will be able to reduce cost It, ET is one of my favorites in the world. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is a very insightful question that you're asking, Nikunj, and almost seems like you were listening in on the deliberation the committee was doing. Uh, and you're absolutely right. And if this cup of coffee is costing you 25 rupees right now, after five years, it may cost you 100 rupees. Predicting the market. or predicting the short term move in the market well that's always very easy predicting it right and making money it's not impossible it could be a challenge Nikunj, you are a very seasoned uh, uh, market observer, and therefore you may hit the nail on the head. I think you have always uh, kept the focus on the retail investor, and I think this is again a very apt, very good question. Nikunj, first of all, thank you so much. You are one person I've always enjoyed interacting uh, throughout last 15-20 years. You know the problem on coming on your channel is Welcome back. You're watching Buy Now Sell Now. We're in the midst of the query segment. We've got Kunal as well as Sharmila answering your questions. Uh Sunny is the one who said that I cannot not take his question, so I'm going to do just that uh, in the first question that we're taking post the break tcs is the name of the counter we've discussed this uh, but kunal your individual view on this 2670 is a buy price long term view is uh, being sought would you suggest booking profits and re-entering at some stage yeah i think I, that would be a strategy which i would recommend uh, so 3000 380 uh, 400 is where the stock is trading right now good time to you know book out profits over here my expectation is that possibly these it stocks may get into one more round of correction as i said earlier that possibly these uh, the it index is trading into a range of 26500 and uh, 30500 approximately on a more broader basis now we are at the higher end of this range so if the uh, it index comes back to the lower end of the range that could be a point where you can look to reinitiate a buy or take a contra trade back again Okay, this one is coming from Hemant Datta, and he wants to know about Cummins India. If it is a good buy for uh, a period of one year, and also what sort of a target should he look at? Kunal, he is looking at a fresh entry. Do you think it makes sense? It makes sense uh, to buy Cummins India at current levels. I think the stock had done reasonably well last month, rallied up, uh, you know, from I think nine thousand uh, levels approximately to twelve hundred, and this month the stock has moved into a range from thirteen hundred to eleven hundred. So it's been dilly-dallying into this. 200 point range for itself but then you know i think it's a good move move stronger follow through what this has also done is uh, try to lift the entire sector the entire capital goods space etc so uh, i would suggest the bank uh, comments but i would also advise that look out for even uh, lnt that's also a stock which has underperformed and can play a very sharp catch up with most of the other peers from the sector santosh from musket is asking this next question he's got repco home finance at levels of Uh, 198. The stock is currently trading at 252. Sharmila, on the fundamentals, would you suggest a hold for the next 24 months? What's the view? Oh uh, yes, I think you can continue to hold. Uh, it's fairly decent valuations, and uh, uh, yes, I think uh, in terms of uh, uh, PE, the stock looks decent. Uh, it's corrected uh, uh, about 20, 30 percent from uh, its all-time high, uh, from its 52-week high. Beg your pardon. uh yeah and i think even in terms of numbers uh, tad lower uh, for 2022 but the quarter numbers seem to be improving so yes i think he can continue to hold this one is from joy shila prema and konal this one is for you century ply he wants to uh, ask whether it's uh, good uh, to enter afresh for a period of 2 years 
Well, I think yes, good uh, time to I mean look at the stock or buy the stock at current levels. Uh, it's recovered from 500 to now 650, 660. In the last two months, trading above the 200 DMAs as well as above the 50-day moving average, so you can look to buy the stock. Okay, um, I'm I'm just trying to pull up PCBL, um, Kunal. If you have a view on this stock, apparently it is split in the recent past. Uh, we've got uh, a view of Farooq, who's bought at 240 rupees before the split. What's the view on the charts right now? So yeah, I think it's a small cap name, uh, part of the Nifty Nifty 500, uh, you know, basket from the small cap arena. Uh, had has done reasonably well. I think it's risen from 100 to 120, 23 levels currently, and this is the first, uh, you know, strong quarterly gain after three quarters of successive price correction for PCBL. So you can look to hold on to the stock price, uh, and and possibly if you're looking at it from a medium term play, at least the last two quarters of price, uh, you know, uh, closing is where you can probably expect the stock to head towards. So that could be closer to 135, 140 levels over the very near term. Okay, Jai Krishnan from Kerala has written to us about Amber Enterprises, uh, Sharmila. 2,642 is the buy price for this counter. Wants to know what should uh, uh, what should she do with this holding? Is it or average? And if average, at what sort of a levels uh, she should look to average? Because wants to hold on to it for the next medium for a medium term. Amber Enterprises, do you have a view on this one? Positive on the stock, and uh, as I can see, it's corrected quite a bit from its 52-week uh, high. Uh, so yes, perhaps it's uh, come to levels uh, at which it can be averaged. Uh, the reason I like the stock is that, uh, you know, the kind of model that they are going for, where they are not really, uh, uh, so they, uh, they are not a brand, they are supplying uh, uh, to OEM, uh, to uh, manufacturers. So what happens is that they are, uh, uh, at a much lower cost, uh, they are able to deliver better margins because they don't have to uh, sell it as a brand. So th uh, that, that makes uh, considerable savings for them. So, you know, that kind of a model, uh, in my mind, you know, in, in environments where uh, you could see pressure on margins, etc., but the demand for air conditioners stays strong. Uh, at such a time, uh, this is a very good uh, model to be in. And they have managed to successfully increase the number of customers and uh, they have been able to supply uh, air conditioners to a whole uh, host of uh, branded companies. So, uh, uh, this is, a clear, uh, this is you know, th uh, the kind of idea and stock that I like. So, uh, she can stay invested in it for the longer term. Um, not a counter we've spoken about in the recent past, but certainly lots of news about it. Um, yes Bank, it's currently trading at 16.35. Sharmila, this one's also for you. We've got a viewer who's holding 90,000 shares of Yes Bank, which he's bought at levels of 15.7. Anil is asking whether to hold it for the long term. What are the prospects? Well, uh, you know, there is, uh, you know, ever since State Bank became an investor, I'm not concerned about it from that perspective, but I would really think that it might make more sense. Uh, to be uh, just invested uh, in some other uh, uh, private bank. Uh, maybe, uh, I, I mean, I, I don't know what kind of an outlook he has, but you know, I would much prefer to be in an ICICI bank or an HGFC bank or a uh, stock of that caliber. Vishal and Vishal is asking about Vishnu Chemicals. Kunal, I'm unsure if you track this or no. He's purchased this counter at a price of around 350 rupees per share. He now wants to know whether he should book profit or stay put. I think you can look to hold on to the stock price. It's done uh, exceptionally well for itself. I think uh, over the last, uh, possibly over the last two to three months, as well as over the last, uh, you know, from the 2020 lows for itself. Now, the the catch for the stock is that, uh, you know, in between where the stock consolidates, the liquidity drops down. The average trading volume, you know, comes closer to 5,000, 7,000 shares only. Uh, and only when there's a, some sort of a trend building up is where you see the average volume jumping towards 45, 50,000 shares for wish to chemicals that's the only catch towards the same but otherwise uh, you know the stock seems to be doing pretty well and has been holding on to the the price trends on the upside from the 2020 lows so i would suggest a hold okay uh, bisaka from kolkata says uh, he's a new investor and uh, you know only spent about four months in the market so far he's bought 100 shares of ineos style Solutions, which he uh, at, at the price of 1086 uh, the price fell he says to 700 from what he saw and then climbed to around 825. Uh, what's the view, Kunal? I think he's no, actually, let me take this to Sharmila. Sharmila on the fundamentals because he plans to hold for the next five years. What should his strategy be? 
Yes, I think he can continue to hold and, uh, uh, you know, what he's saying in terms of, you know, where he bought it and how it corrected, uh, perhaps that's a story we've heard across uh, mid-cap stocks. Uh, but, uh, you know, coming to this stock uh, specifically, the numbers look good. Uh, to my mind, even the uh, valuations look very decent. Uh, so, yes, I think if you are a long-term investor, you can continue to hold. Kunal, this one is uh, for you. This one is coming from Ajay. He wants a technical view on InfoEdge. He has 20 shares of InfoEdge purchased at 4,450 rupees per share. He wants to know whether he should, uh, like, kind of book losses on immediate basis in this particular counter or should he hold on to it? He's saying if hold on, then he can hold on through the next one year. What's your take on InfoEdge? See, my sense is after today's candlestick pattern, uh, I would probably keep it more short term oriented because the stock is today showing for the first time a sign of a bearish uh, you know, formation uh, info edge. So I think it's fallen by I think four, five and a half percent today so far. And uh, it looks uh, you know, that the candlestick pattern today is uh, indicating some sort of a bearishness for the stock which could come by and impact the stock possibly over the near term, near -term trend as well. So I would suggest that uh, you, know, the, the, you have to keep a, some sort of a stop loss over here. Possibly today's uh, you know, closing could be a point where you can look to reassess your, uh, your positions in case if the stock doesn't bounce back and doesn't come back above the 4,300, 350 mark, then that could be a point where you can look to probably reassess your position or even exit as well. Okay, Aarti has got a question on a couple of stocks. Uh, you know, Kunal, you can pick one of both. Uh, Zomato as well as Trent. These are two counters she's looking at very closely. Uh, she's asking what the entry price should be if you suggest a fresh entry. So I think Zomato closer to 60, sub 60 levels could be a good point. I'm unsure that whether the stock would actually correct towards those levels because over the last uh, you know two weeks, it's done reasonably well from 40 to almost 68 uh, and, and now back towards, I think 61 or 60 was the low the, uh, for Zomato on, on, on Friday. So I think from there, the stock is now finding a, a good base for itself around that 60 odd mark. So that could be a point where you, you can look to buy. Trent, on the other hand, I think had run up quite steeply in the last uh, you know, two weeks of the market rally. And I've been making this point that stocks which have rallied late uh, going into the market rally, they could be the first ones to get into a sharper correction. So possibly in that regard, trend can come back towards 1260, 1280. That could be a point to initiate a fresh buy. Talking about Zomato, Vivek has asked that he has 300 shares of Zomato, purchased at 45 rupees per share. Kunal, should he book profit or stay put for the longer term? I think you should stay put. Okay, CDSL is the next counter. Uh, Kunal, I'm coming back to you. Bought at levels of 1000. I'm not sure about the... Let's look at the share price. Let's pull it up first. Um, I believe he's got 350 shares. Kunal, what are the near term? Yeah, okay. So 1,500 is the buy price. Uh, what uh, should he do in the near term? See, my sense is that after an 8x rally for CDSL from 200 to 1,600 from the 2020 lows, uh, the pandemic lows towards the high the stock had made in 2021, it's bound to be a point where the stock would get into at least an 18-month correction uh, or, or a time-wise correction, if not a price-wise correction. We've just spent, I think, the last eight months, uh, you know, for the stock getting into this corrective phase, possibly another eight months, the stock can get into a time-wise correction. So if you're not in any kind of a hurry, I would suggest to wait out. Okay, uh, with that, let's kick start with the rapid fire then. And Hindu wants to know about Jubilant Food, Kunal's purchase at 585 rupees per share for a short-term trade, hold or sell? With the rest of hold, keep a stop loss closer to 565. Kunal, Bandhan Bank bought at levels of 323 two months ago, currently losing ground. Would you suggest holding on? I would suggest to hold on. Okay, Jaira Shetty wants to know about Imami or uh, Sharmila. Can this counter be held on for the longer term? Uh, yes, you can continue to hold. Biocon bought at levels of 330. Can it be held for three years? Nalini wants to know. Uh, Sharmila. Yes, absolutely. Mr. Balan has 500 shares of NTPC and ONGC, but he's now making profit on either of them. What should he do? Kunal, hold, sell or switch? NTPC hold, ONGC you can sell. Um, also, if it's bought at 109, ONGC sell, right? Yes. Okay, Divya wants to know, Kunal, uh, can TBS, is TBS Motor a good uh, option to sell in a put or a call option? It's a good option to sell on, uh, on both uh, because I'm assuming that the stock would remain more range bound if it's a very short term view. Uh, Kunal, TBS Electronics uh, bought at levels of 218 a few, year, few, few days back. Uh, would you suggest holding for two to three months? I would suggest hold. In fact, today uh, morning itself, I had given a call on DBS Electric. Okay, Venkate Swaran wants to know DCM uh, Sriram Sharmila, whether it's a good or fundamental buy around 1030. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have a view. 
Uh, Adani, Wilma, uh, would you suggest uh, holding on if you bought at levels of 230? Jiban wants to know. Uh, Sharmila. Yes, he can continue to hold Adani. Okay, so Darshan wants to know about Deepak Nitrite. Uh, as a fresh buy, can the entry be made, Kunal? Uh, well, yes, at current levels of 2000, sub 2000 levels, good time to buy. Uh, car trade tech bought at levels of 890. Would you hold uh, or sell at this point? Manish wants to know. Sharmila. Uh, no, I, I'm afraid I'd sell. Okay, and a market specific question from Mr. Gupta Kunal. He shorted Nifty at 17,920. Should he book profit or hold still? Yeah, I think you can look to book profit closer to 17,500 mark. All right, uh, we're completely out of time on this edition of the query segment. Uh, Sharmila as well as Kunal, thank you so much for joining in. For everybody who's tuned in who has not gotten their question answered, uh, well, we did our best and we'll be back tomorrow to take a lot more. So do stay tuned. Uh, we have to slip into a very quick break. There's more on the other side, so stay with us. that you already know everything i just heard your introduction and what can anybody add to that stock markets is a numbers game and it sometimes does come across as one dimensional but what people don't see is that these numbers, when strung together, tell a story. There's no really black or white. It very much seems to be a work in progress of triumphs and mistakes, greed and fear. And I bring you that story behind the numbers in action.